Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about the setup of the tornado machine. So the tornado is ran off of a hydraulic power pack, which is here to my left, and you have two hoses to power the machine, one to feed and one for the return. They have a male and a female coupler on them, so you cannot mix them up or put them onto the wrong one. And then they're a quick connect. All right, and to connect your quick coupling hydraulic hoses, You'll just line your male and your females up together, push until you hear the click. That will lock it in place. The next one is down below it. Same thing, line it up, push until you hear that click. The last one was the emergency uh, shutoff cord. It goes down below. There's a groove on the back of this that needs to line up straight down and then twist until that one locks in place. Now on the power pack itself, you'll have a few levers that you need to check on. The starting off on the far right, this is the on and off switch. You need to set that one to on. Over here, you have the speed adjuster. It needs to be all the way on full or the rabbit. Down below is the choke. When it's cold, you'll need to turn that on. And the bottom one down here is the gas, which has to be turned on to the right. After that, you're ready to go. Pull it to start it up. Uh, you want to make sure that all of your nozzles are in the off position. So the, uh, the feed and the, and the speeds and your emergency stop should all be off. The last thing is on the back side of the machine here is the, the hydraulics. You pull this lever towards the hose. When you're starting the machine, this must be in the off position or to the right. And if you're still having trouble getting your machine started, you'll want to check your emergency shutoff. This has to be disengaged for the power pack to start up. And to disengage it, you'll just turn it clockwise, you'll hear a click, and it will raise up. So after you've got your hydraulics and the shutoff switch hooked up over here, next you're going to want to hook up the air from the air compressor. This is a four claw Chicago fitting on a inch and a half hose. You will press this on, twist to the right to lock it in. Now selecting the air compressor size, if you're working up to inch and a quarter duct, you'll, you can use a 185 CFM air compressor. Inch and a half or two inch duct, you're going to want to use a 375 CFM air compressor. Gives you a larger volume of air, and the volume is more what you're concerned with here than the PSI. The PSI is not so important, but that air flowing through the duct will float the fiber and help reduce the friction. Guys, I just wanted to give a quick tip on how to get longer shots and, and longer distances out of your, uh, your blows. So many times when I'm going out into the field, I will see these guys, I will see guys starting with the air full blast before they even start running the fiber. What that does is it's creating a lot of back pressure before you even get started. It's maxing out your air pressure before you even get started. And it's blowing all of your lube out the other end of the duct before it has a chance to do its job. So what you want to do is watch your pressure gauge down here. It's below. As that starts to rise somewhere around 400 feet, start cracking open the air real slow and just keep adding air to keep your pressure down. But don't go, you don't want to be full blast until you're towards the end of your run. As you're going along, it'll need more and more air to keep the pressure down. And by the time you get to the end of it, it should be at full blast. 